What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Miss Flips. In today's episode, we are making over this coffee table that is in our living room currently. We got it for free off of Facebook Marketplace, so it's in pretty rough condition, but we are gonna go ahead and make it match this color wood here. I really liked this color wood, and I thought that it went in our living room pretty well, so we're gonna try to get it to that same color. The table honestly isn't too bad. I mean, the bottom was kind of loose, so, but I mean, that's such an easy fix. All you gotta do is tighten these screws here and it was, you know, back to normal shape. But I actually ended up taking it completely off and just sanding it down like that because I wanted to make sure that I was able to get into every corner. And honestly, the legs came off just as easily and I, I really should have just taken the legs off too to get into uh, the corners and sanding all those bits as well. But I didn't do that, so uh, yeah, we're just working with what we got here. Uh, but next I took off the hardware, and um, for this piece I thought that the, the finish was gonna be easy to carbide scrape off, so I didn't bother cleaning yet. But I went in with a carbide scraper and it was really, really tough to get off. I was just able to get off the melted, uh, finish so I ended up just cleaning down the rest of it as is and going in with a sander instead because yeah the carbide scraper just wasn't doing the job uh, but I started off with a 60 grit piece of sandpaper and that did the job really really well it just cut through the finish and the stain and was able to get everything off pretty well and then I moved on from a 60 to a 120 and then up to a 220 just to smooth everything out. For this piece I'm honestly doing a pretty simple project. Um, I'm not aiming to do anything crazy or fancy with it. It's something that can be done super easily with a minimal amount of tools. All like the only thing that I used besides the carbide scraper that I you know kinda used <laughs> was a screwdriver, a sander, and basically a paintbrush and paint. And whatever, you know, you finish the piece with, either wax or polyurethane or something like that. But um, yeah, other than that, that's it. And so it's a really easy thing to do. I did it in under 24 hours, so I mean, it's it's super easy. And it was really nice to be able to do this in between projects so that, you know, because uh, I, I, we've had this table for probably close to a year now and I've been planning on refinishing it for a while and just didn't really know what to do with it. But then I thought about this uh, plan for it and I was like, oh, that would be really quick and really effective and get it exactly the way that I want it. So may as well do it in between projects. So here's a good example of why we finish off with a 220 grit. As you can see, it left little squigglies behind there and moving on from a 60 grit to a 120 and then to a 220 just helps get all of those squiggly guys out and make sure that your uh, finish is just really nice and smooth. And um, yeah, the 220 just knocked everything down that was left by the 120 and the same thing goes for the 120 for the 60 grit. Also, I don't know if you just noticed, but I just sanded through that veneer, just straight through it. And the reason why is because I could not see a single thing that I was doing. See the shade in the corner of the table and then the partial shade in this side of the table threw me off and I could not see a gosh darn thing. So if you are doing it in the shade, if you are sanding, in the sun, whatever the case may be, I highly recommend just picking a lane and choosing which one you're gonna be in, either full sun or full shade, because if you don't, it can mess with your eyesight and you won't be able to see very well. At least that's what happened to me, and I ended up burning right into the veneer, and it, oh, the way it made me want to cry. <laughs> But anyways, moving on to bigger and better things like painting. So for the paint, uh, I decided to go with a mixture of two colors, um, a white and a pink, or no, sorry, it was actually a white and an orange color. Um, and I ended up not really liking that. I wanted to see how it would look once it was all finished, like once, the, um, once I put the finish on the wood and uh, yeah, it, and once everything was dry, but 
even with everything being completely dried and the finish being, you know, completely on there, I, I, I still didn't like it. So I ended up painting it a different color. But the finish that I ended up using is a finish that I use on mostly all the woods that I do. Um, it's a finish by Melange. It's like a, a finishing oil and wax type of thing. I'll make sure to include it in the description below. I chose the hemp scent, but I think I'll go with something else next time just because the smell of hemp is is quite strong and I'm not the biggest fan of it. So uh, yeah, this angle is perfect for showing how much I really work the finish in here. With a wax finish, you really kind of want to massage it into the wood. And this is because, you know, the wood is going to soak up a lot of that finish, a lot of the oils that are in the, um, in the wax. So you're going to want to really rub it in there so that it's, you get a nice even finish because you want to get an, as much in there as possible so that when you go on with your next coat, the next coat is going to be, you know, what really protects it. So the first coat kind of, you know, clogs the pores, if you will, and then um, the top coat adds the, the protection. So I'm massaging it to the point where I don't see any more of the little swirly lines left behind from, you know, me wiping it on there. And the reason I'm using a wax finish opposed to, you know, like a polyurethane or something like that is because I prefer to go with the more eco-friendly option. And Melange is actually really good about that. Not only are most of their products eco-friendly, but their containers that the products come in are all glass, which I really appreciate. So they're completely recyclable or reusable for your own stuff, like putting, you know, old screws in or hardware or whatever the case may be, mixing other paints, all that good stuff. Um, so I would highly recommend uh, looking into their products. They're really good and they genuinely do a great job. Waxes protect like nobody's business. You of course have to go back over them, you know, every couple years to, to rebuff them and give them another protective layer. But um, yeah, I just really like the finish that wax gives it and the, the shine as well is, is always very, very nice. But here is the finished product with the dried paint and the dried wax and I just didn't like how the paint was complementing the wood. So I ended up going in there with a little bit of a darker color. I don't remember the specific name of the color, but I'll make sure to list it in the description below. You can't really tell in this light or with the iPhone camera, but the pink just was not flattering. It was just bringing out colors in the wood that I didn't really like, and um, it just, yeah, didn't really complement it very well. So I think that this darker color matches a lot better with certain shades that are in the wood grain and just makes the wood pop rather than, uh, I, I, I don't even know how to put it, but I, yeah. I just didn't like it and now I, I and now I do. So yeah, that's that's all that matters, right? So when I was reapplying the screws, I realized that one was missing, so I just went ahead and replaced it with this little screw that I had from another piece that I did, and it actually worked a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. It fit perfectly and worked amazingly well. But before I show you guys the finished product, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found the process inspiring to do your own simple and easy quick flips in your own home. 
This piece has inspired me to change the TV stand. I'm going to change it to the same color as this so that it matches a little bit better because now I hate the color. And I think that this color works so much better in our space, so I'm definitely going to be redoing it to match this piece now. But anyways, here's a little bit of the before action, and uh, yeah, stay flipping, guys.